in a living room in Roslyn, a weekly private dance session that evokes the wonder and the weight of history. For the hour that I dance, I feel so, so wonderful and then I feel, it makes me forget about all the horrible things that unfortunately is going on into the world now and it um, makes me forget about my past also. Rachel Epstein took up the tango a few years ago in her mid-80s, reconnecting with fond memories of Argentine music that had become popular in France, where as a child she spent three years in hiding from the Nazis during World War II. My one thing to do, what I really I would have loved to do, was interrupted by a horrible war. <laughs> Iran Polat is her tango instructor. Just living and hearing her past uh, about the Holocaust and the, the trauma that she lived through, and she's able to be full of life, it's an inspiration to just observe, to you know, be in presence of. Tango dancing is a powerful and passionate profession of Epstein's resilience. More than three quarters of a century after she saw her parents dragged away by French police, never to be seen again. I look forward so much when to, to do the, my, just my one hour once a week. <laughs> just makes me feel great. Epstein's instructor calls tango dancing funny, playful, vulnerable, strong and transformative all traits that can be ascribed to the student herself. She is as inspiring as they come. Dance of a Lifetime, Steve Langford for Newsday TV.